Ladies and gents, Andy TV here with some more to the moon. Last episode, we found out that we couldn't get access to Johnny's childhood memories, but we've done everything we could to link his memories together to hopefully bring him to the moon. I think that's how it works. Okay, we're no longer ghost head things. This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's not good. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. This is... Very concerning. This is indeed the same memory. He'd be at the cliff overlooking the lighthouse. Oh boy. Act 2 is starting off pretty nice. Pretty creepy. It's the same. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many vi- Oh, this is... This is the same. But I'm not saying it twice. Okay. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? Yeah, this is exactly the same. Um... Yeah, this is... Weird. Freeze him, too. Well? Wait here, I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. Um... You transferred successfully, for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. This is very worrying. How could this be? Even if this desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. This doesn't feel... Right. This feels very... Creepy. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might be... Need some simulation to be brought up, huh? Well then, what is... What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? This... No, I like this one. Alright, let's go then. This, um, doesn't seem right. Altering memories like that? Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's Neil? Oh, this isn't good. Oh, you're walking fast now. Did you see to the moon? How was it? It was a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my moves to be a bit more... Oh, je ne sais quoi. Is that how you say it? Where's Neil? Where is my buddy? Um, where are you? Are you in the movie theater? To the moon, darling! Oh, Henry. Ah, oh, dear lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Did that work? It's all the same. I'll have to try reigniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. Where's Neil? L Lily? Here? Perhaps something here could work. I don't have time for her right now. So did she throw in some... What do you guys think? 
guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. What? Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. What? What is this? Hey, don't squeak. I have to sneeze. No, hello. This is new. Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. As you know, I'm a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. Oh, this is gonna be good. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! Wow, that was terrible. But I digress. I love Dr. Rosaline's reaction. She's just so done with him. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering... What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or, perhaps, just chilling at the backside of the moon! Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you! Or you! Or, perhaps... You! But I don't want to go to the moon. Oh, hello, that's... that's a thing. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true, in fact, if you try to bike around the moon. This is great. Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> He's the best. He is the absolute best. Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Hmm, I do try pretty hard. Are you going to go see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. I'm willing to bet it didn't. Back. Report. Utter failure. Yeah, I kind of assume. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as? Well... Huh. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. Oh, I remember this scene. We can barely afford to pay for- But can you afford the Lunar Trip Lottery? <laughs> oh my god. If you sell this house, you sure can! Is the diagnosis certain? This is gonna be great. Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true, for both you and your spouse. This is the best. Oh my god. <laughs> Free pony rides in space. Oh look, a wedding. Good for you. 
but here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for the honeymoon? They're trying so hard. It's the best. Phone, shut up. River? Really? Dagnabbit. Glass. Slippery. Johnny. J John. What the cucumber? Whew. You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting to us. Had I known that we'd be in uh, that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You shouldn't. See, you should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully, Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. To who? Who do you have to call? doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless, unless a secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core to change, she would be the top suspect. But of, out of all things, what exactly caused it? River... Just what exactly did you do? The sun's rising. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything yet. Well... With that done... With... Our failure to make Johnny go to the moon. I'll end it off here. And next episode, we'll meet up with Neil again. The best character in the game. And maybe he has something in mind. But for now, I'll end it off here. And see you guys next time for some more To the Moon. Later. <laughs>